Yeah. Well, well, Evan, I'm a, I'm a little confused yeah. here. I really am. I doubt it. <laughs> okay, I'm playing to the <laughs> conversation. Say, okay. But, but, and so you said the demographic is 58%. Yeah. Non-white. Non -white. Turnout. Asian turnout. 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 In the turnout. Democratic primary. So shouldn't the Democratic that be a primary. walk in the park for Bill Thompson? Well, here's there, he's got several problems. One is that he hasn't match, matched, I think, the level of anger out there in that constituency. There's incredible inequality in New York, and he's not talking about it with the same passion as some of the other candidates. The other problem is that two of the candidates that are talking about with that level of passion are Anthony Weiner and John Liu, who are not dropping out and are siphoning black and Latino votes away from him in amazing numbers. What's now, the issue I, that makes him passionate, though? Well, stop, stop and, and frisk, frisk is definitely a big one. But listen, you go into these churches in central Brooklyn, South Bronx, uh, southeastern Queens, and you hear him on the stump versus them on the stump, it's a very different sounding message. Now, they're probably gonna do very much the same thing if they get into office, I would, I would argue. The one big difference being John Lewis says he's gonna abolish stop and frisk, which is a little crazy and radical. But uh, he, uh, Thompson, uh, just can't deliver yet that the level of anger that they want to hear that gets them out to the polls and it's so important that he do that and I think that you can be to answer your question earlier I think you could be a nice person but sometimes you need to be a mean candidate Do you need to go after people and question them you need to say to Bill de Blasio Bill de Blasio where were you for the last four years and stop and frisk isn't your office supposed to be looking after the police department you need to say things like that and, he's and, not doing it and to Dominic's question too about the, the, the black vote and his percentage the minority vote or black vote you're saying non-white non-white non -white. Asian, okay, Hispanic so, Latino African so, American so as you said everyone's going after it he's not going to get a hundred percent of that even the black folk with this Dante ad yeah. for de Blasio he's getting into that John Lou has been doing advertising as long as he's got money on black radio you and I've had this conversation on air about that so therefore yeah. all of those voters start cutting down into his percentages and going on and, and Dante's ad I think is terrific because it, I think it was on air even before Thompson was on air so you had the first black candidate ad yeah. so to speak being from the white liberal voter right. or, or candidate the other thing about that you talk about and I've said this on air before Thompson's vote is black and minority and been unrepresented in all these polls yeah and de Blasio's vote is not just motivated and passionate they are liberal and they all show up to vote upper west side of Manhattan yes. parts of Brooklyn they show up to vote so the intensity of who's gonna turn out is fantastic and for those two people Quinn doesn't have it I've always said Accurate. Quinn's numbers got hit with Wiener OB, and I, I, get find, hit with I everybody. find this amazing no, this no, no. conversation's gone on for about five minutes <laughs> I, I was sitting here counting and we're just bringing up Christine Quinn. Who? <laughs> is, it, yeah, is it Christine Quinn? Christine Didn't Quinn, I hit my max two months ago, yeah. Quinn. By the way, Christine Quinn is not fighting to keep her base. Her base is wealthier white voters. They're not Was going where really? And she she has a much higher floor than de Blasio and uh, Thompson do. So the fighting right now needs to be amongst them, even though Christine is certainly gonna go after them. For very, went after de Blasio today, in fact, on Stop and Frisk, saying what I should, said Thompson should say about it. So that makes total sense. But look, here's the interesting thing for Bill Thompson that's worth pointing out. When Wiener cratered, his black and Latino numbers started going up. He was really the beneficiary, in my opinion, of Wiener cratering uh, uh, with black and Lat Latinos. Bill, or, uh, Bill de Blasio, he's doing better, uh, it seems, among middle class white people, especially in the outer boroughs. That's interesting because that's a very fertile ground for him. And if he can take what was supposed to be Wiener's base a long time ago and start using that, he's looking pretty the, good. Well, for and the the candidates that are going to do the best in all of this right now, I think, are those that identified all the voters, as many as they could before. And the minute that Anthony stumbled and, and Lou stumbled out money, they go to them and say, come to me. Much like the Democrats did in the caucuses where Obama beat Hillary, that's how that happened. Because as Democrats fell out of the primary process, the Obama people knew everyone that was supporting one of the people that dropped out and were the first ones to call and say, vote for my guy, vote for Obama in that case because of that. And Hillary's people hadn't done that caucus work up front. This is the same exact situation. And as the yeah. only female on the, on the panel, I have to say that, I ha you know, Christine Quinn is not out of this thing. She has been leading oh. this race. She has, you know, now even with de Blasio, I mean, I think we write her off. 
I, way too soon. No, no, I, don't agree. Not, not I don't think she's running a good campaign right now, and Why? I like the people on her campaign, but she has she's been leading the polls, or even with de Blasio in this latest one, I, and historically in New York, you always win when you're leading. That's I, that's historically, so we can't write But speakers don't win mayor of New York. They don't, they and don't I absolutely primaries. agree. That's she's got a number of problems, but to write her off, Quinn, I think, is too soon. The other soon. thing that was amazing with Quinn, though, we talked about the non-white vote and how Wiener was doing with them. Wiener was beating Quinn in the women vote early on, too. If she was viewed as the yeah. female candidate that women would flock to, why were women supporting Wiener after all his troubles instead of her? And after he dropped out, they didn't all run to her. They run to other, other candidates. Right. So I, I still think she's not the person they look at. I think at. she's I, got problems, I, but she has been number one or number two in every momentum, poll and yeah. number one more than True. two. You can't discount oh, that. And, momentum Just wins. to be clear, I am not <laughs> counting out Do Christine Do I have to be the, the Democratic well, Let me say this, let me say this, because I, I, I <laughs> encourage you to jump in and give me empirical fact to, to back up what I'm about to say, because this is just a theory. But I, that it seems to me that what's happening now is that the left is coming out. People are starting to pay attention. It's a very liberal group of people that vote in primaries in New York, and they're going with who they think is liberal, and that's Bill de Blasio right now. Okay. But when I, they get I to the ballot box, the word, they're the going to be saying, who's the adult the word in this the Democrats race? Are using right now, two things. The word Democrats are using for de Blasio is progressive. That word, you hear about that in yeah. New York radio and TV and all the news stories, de Blasio is not just liberal, He's progressive, right. and the people support him doing but, that. Yeah. And Quinn, momentum wins. Momentum wins. Momentum wins. But I wins. think we Quinn can't does, also, is going the wrong yeah, way. I can't, we okay. can't underestimate Thompson either. He, he going, his polling has never reflected his strength. And he's dangerous in a runoff. We're Very going dangerous. to continue Sorry. this and, and discuss <laughs> Mr. Wiener on the backside, but Mr. quickly, <laughs> Mr. Wiener. Oh, okay. But quickly, will be a, qu a question for you here, and a quick response, please. Um, you said progressive as far as the Blasio. Yes. So th is that really a setup to say that? For Joe Loder, that's his best, the Republican candidate, if he gets the nomination, well, no, the, that he could actually beat. Hey, listen, I, I firmly believe that Loder, Casamitidis, is the best ones in this race at this point for the future of New York, and that's another conversation later okay, on. Okay, another conversation. Check, check but, point. But in that conversation, the Notice liberals. That's how I held myself together. The, 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 liberals, <laughs> the, li the liberals are saying the word progressive to help de Blasio. It's got nothing with anything else. Okay. Every candidate that's a Democrat is liberal. Okay. De Blasio is the most liberal, therefore progressive is what they're trying to say. And as you can see there, Mr. Loder's holding on to a 10-point lead, roughly, give or take, yep. over John Casamitidis. Right now, I've got to help myself, Mr. OB, so it's time for a break. And up next, how much do endorsements really matter? Scott Stringer ran away with a bunch of them over the weekend, but will that be enough to turn the tide in his favor? That and more is up next. Stay with us.